hey, this is just, where are you? There, this is just a quickie uh, because I wanted to give an update to the update that I did about uh, online dating. So what I've decided to do now is I put it out there that he has to find me. I can't look, I can't read another profile until I actually receive a message from somebody. These are my rules because it's the gamification of online dating that I'm not gonna, number one, I'm not gonna pay for it. Number two, I'm an INFJ empath. So when I see these pictures and read these profiles, I can get disturbed or I get this, oh, the poor man. And I don't have time in my life for any more rescue men. I've already dealt with three men with mama issues mirroring my own insufficient, um, satisfactory childhood. And the number one thing was what we would call an insecurity bond. An insecurity bond is a bond in which the caregiver makes you feel insecure and then they then make you feel secure and that's the relationship. And then you get bonded to it, it's like an addiction. It's called a trauma bond. And so the, that's what I realized, but I didn't know there was a name for it. And then the other thing is that the narcissistic um, parts that was occurring, um, attracting those people <clears throat> is because I was actually raised to, I was told at five and it crushed me. I was told, you know, Kathleen, you're not the center of the universe. You may think you are, but you're not. Now this is abuse. At the time, my mother was taking child psychology, and I often think, oh, um, what was she doing? Taking child psychology to, f to master how to fuck with a child's head? <laughs> so, so, you know, and then we grow up, and at, I'm 59, and everybody would be like, oh, you can't blame everything on your parents. I'm not. I'm blaming it on myself, because I recognize how I was programmed and now I can unprogram it to live the life that was my original blueprint because it was the opposite of Montessori. I would want this. I would, had to go over there. There was only if it fit in the family's culture could I do it. And that's fine. But even so, even when the, you don't know, you don't know the level. And I'm not going to be, get out your little tiny violin and play a song for you while I tell you woe is me. Instead, it's woohoo is me. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo-hoo. Because I finally am understanding. I, I get it. I understand that because now, what I even recognize because I'm dog-sitting, I love nurturing animals. I'm actually a nurturer. Men are animals, they're, they're, they're not unlike dogs, only they're a lot more complicated and interesting, but I think mine have been like dogs. And it's about time I got a thoroughbred of some kind. Not a prima donna, but somebody that like is a man, but intellectual too. I guess I've been just going for the sort of athletic guys or not even, I mean, just the simple guys or I, I don't know but they haven't been that complicated and nuanced. And then that's been the very thing that has made me suffer in a relationship, the, the lack of connection. Anyway, I, I could go round and round and round wondering what the fuck happened. <laughs> or, I can see, be, or I can strategize. So this is my strategy. My strategy is I am going to continue doing what I'm doing. Delete every last email that comes through, but note who it is. And just, I can't speak to anybody right now. It is March 12th, I think. And if we're coming up on the spring equinox and I got a seed and I can't get any more energetic, like I feel like I'm getting nudged constantly. That's the problem with these dating apps to, to a really sensitive person is that you just feel nudged and you see these guys and you see their irritation and you're like, dude, you need to write a better you, you, your attitude is coming through. <laughs> you need to write a better profile. 
you're actually a babe determinant with that profile. The only people you're gonna get are people like yourself, unaware people. So now that I'm aware, I'm so excited because now I get to have the life I've always wanted to have and I'm still alive. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to share my happiness and uh, to let you know that I've got a trip coming up to Southport and I'm very, very excited about that. And uh, happy forward time change for all those people uh, that have to suffer through that. I already did it in my head and I've been doing it for a really long time. In fact, I never changed my clocks. I know what the rest of the world, in my section of it anyway, were doing. And then I decided what I was going to do was, because I hate springing forward, so I just stayed back. <laughs> because I would always lose sleep. It's like, fall back when you were a kid, yay, an hour, an hour extra of sleep, and then you pay for it later. It fucks with your circadian rhythms. So instead, I've been pet sitting taking care of animals, recognizing how wonderful they are, how much you learn about yourself, caring for an animal, and the value it is for nurturing. And like I have a high need to nurture something, and that's my weakness and my strength. It's great. So I'm gonna nurture myself now. Yeah, self-care. I'm taking it to a new level. <laughs>